Okay, we're going to be using Studio Max 2009 to create a treasure chest. Now, when you first open Studio Max, you have four views. You're going to have top, front, left, and perspective view. Let's go ahead and make it full screen perspective by clicking on toggle at the bottom right hand corner. Now, what we're going to be doing is creating a treasure chest and we're going to make it into two separate pieces. That way, later in the game, if you want to animate the treasure chest opening or closing, you can do so. So let's click on box. We're going to hold down a left mouse button and drag it across. Release it. Drag it up. Click it. And that's going to close off your box. Let's go and change the length of the box to 40. We're going to change the width to 70. And we're going to change the height to 25. Next, let's move it. So we're going to click on move at the top. And we want to move it to the center of the world. In order to do that, at the bottom, you have X, Y, and Z. Let's go ahead and change the X to 0. We're going to change the Y to 0. And change Z to 0. That's going to place it dead in the center. Now what we need to do is we need to optimize this box and get rid of any unnecessary polygons. So what we need to do is right-click on the box, go to Convert to, Convert to Editable Mesh. And now that's going to let us go over here and choose polygon. And now we can click on just the top polygon of this box. And as you see, it highlights it in red. If it doesn't highlight it in red for you, you can press the F2 key that toggles between what's selected and what's not selected. So once you have it selected, go ahead and press the delete key. And now that's going to remove the top of the box. Next, what we need to do is create the lid part of the treasure chest. So let's go ahead and close out a polygon. We're going to click on toggle. We're going to go over to the left side, left view, and we're going to click toggle again. Now you can see the box from the left side, and I'm going to click on zoom. We're going to zoom in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. And you'll notice that it's in wireframe mode. If you press F3, you can toggle between wireframe and full screen, but we're just going to leave it in wireframe for now. So let's click on the pan tool. That's going to let us grab it, move it down. So now we have some area up here at the top that we can work with. Well, let's go over here and we're going to click on create at the very top. Go down and we're going to create a cylinder for the top part. So we're going to do the same thing. Come here to the center, hold down the left mouse button, drag it out. It's going to create the radius of the center. Let it go. And then we're going to drag it up. Now you don't see it moving in the left view, but we're actually changing the height of the cylinder. If you look over to the right hand side, you'll see that the height is changing. It doesn't really matter what you change the height to now because we're going to change it later. So go ahead and click it and that's going to get us out of the cylinder. Next, let's go back and click toggle. Go back to perspective mode. Toggle again. And now you can see that we have a lid or a cylinder created that we're going to use for the lid. And what we need to do is move this. So click on move at the top. And we're going to move the X to 35. The reason I chose 35 is... The length of the box, we made 70, so half of 70 is 35, and that's going to force it to line up exactly right. Next, we're going to change the Y to 0, and we're going to change the Z to 25, and we're changing it to 25 because 25 is the height of the box, so that's going to put the center, uh, the cylinder dead in the center of the box. Next, we need to make the cylinder the full length of the box. So let me just rotate that around, and what we're going to do is we're going to click on Modify at the top, Go down and we're going to change the height to 70, which is the length of the box. We're going to change the radius to 20. The reason we chose 20 is because we made the width of the box 40. And so we're going to make the radius half of the width and that's going to make it line up exactly right with the box. Now, if we click F3 or press F3, you'll see in wireframe mode that there's a lot of polygons there that we don't need. Since this is going to be a treasure chest for an iPhone game, we need to make sure that we have the least amount of polygons as possible. So what we're going to do is go over to the right hand side and we're going to change the height segments to one. We only really need one height segment. And right now they have 18 sides. That's a little too much. It's nice and round, but we don't really need it to be that round for an iPhone game. So let's go ahead and change that to 10. We're going to change the size to 10. And then we're going to click the slice on 
option over here on the right. What that's going to do is slice this cylinder directly down the center here. It's going to cut it in half. That way we can come back later and remove the bottom half of the cylinder that we don't need. So now since we have the cylinder set up, let's press F3. It's starting to look like a treasure chest now, but we just need to get rid of those unnecessary polygons. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on select. We're going to right click, choose convert to editable mesh. And this time we're going to choose face from the right hand side. Come down and we're going to rotate the treasure chest so that we can see it from a front view. Press F3 to get into wireframe mode. And what we're going to do is just select the bottom faces. So click on the select tool. Start at the bottom. Hold and drag the left mouse button. And only select the bottom part of, of the treasure chest. And then once you have it selected, we can just rotate it around so that you can make sure that only the bottom is selected. And once you have the bottom selected, go ahead and press the delete key. That's going to remove the bottom part. Now what we need to do is remove the unnecessary polygons that were left over from slicing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to select polygon. We're going to click here once. That's going to select this part, but we don't want that. We're going to click it again. And now you see it selects the polygon that was left over from slicing. And what we're going to do is delete that as well. We're going to hit delete. And there's one more that we have to delete. So we'll do the same thing. Click select. Click here. Click it one more time and press delete. Now, if we rotate it, see that there's no more extra polygons. Hit F3 so we can go back to the original mode. Now we have the treasure chest, but if we load it into a game right now, it's not going to animate right. Um, the problem is, is that if we come and we turn off polygon and we go to rotate and we select the top, which and try to rotate it, what you'll see is that it's going to rotate and open from this side. Now normally treasure chests don't open this way, they open from the back, not from the side, so we need to correct this. So let's go back, select, edit, undo rotation, and we're going to go and select on the third tab at the top, which is hierarchy, and then under hierarchy we're going to select effect pivot only. Now you see that the pivot actually shows up here and we need to change that, but we don't need to rotate it. We have rotation selected. So let's select move. And then we're going to go and click center to object. That's going to center the pivot directly in the center of the object. Now let's go ahead and click auto zoom so we can really see what's going on. We're going to toggle out of this, go back to the left view, make it full screen. I'm going to hit F3 and then I'm going to click on the top again. Now you can see that the pivot is selected because we have effect pivot only. Let's move the pivot to the back where it should actually rotate. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to line it up so that when we open it, it's going to open from this point. Now if you want to tweak it and get it to be a little bit more perfect, you can zoom in by choosing the zoom tool here at the bottom, clicking on move, and we're just going to move that a little bit closer to make it perfect. There. Now we can click zoom out, and we see that the pivot is lined up perfectly. We'll toggle out of this, go back to perspective view, press full screen, and we'll try it again. We'll click on the top lid, we'll turn off pivot only because we don't need to affect the pivot anymore. And once we turn it off, now we can affect the full object itself. So let's click on rotate. And this time we're going to rotate it again. And now you see it rotates correctly. And now you have a treasure chest ready to import into the game. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to apply textures to this model. And just remember, you can see more video tutorials and check out the actual game at DivideArts.com.